Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the first grade concept of word problems, specifically how we can generate word problems and solve them when we're given a number sentence and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So look at what we have here. We have 5 plus blank equals 12. And so we need to write a word problem for this and we'll look at different ways to solve this. So we can pick any object we want to. Let's start with something simple. So let's say Let's talk about birds. So five birds, you could choose whether you want to uh, spell out the number five like I did or use the digit five, were on a fence. Now look at what operation we are using. We are using the addition. And we don't know what the change is. That's our unknown. But we know that we're adding that number. So I'm going to say sum, because typically when we don't know what a number is, when it's the unknown, this question mark right here, we will just say sum. And sum could be any number. We just don't know what it is right now. Some more birds came. So when more birds are coming, that means we're going to add those birds. And then we're going to say now, and then here's our result, there are... 12 birds. Now, right now, we just have a few sentences. We don't have a question we need to solve for. Well, we need to figure out what is this number. So we can ask, how many birds came? And now we have set up our start, our change, and our result. And it's this change that we don't know. So we can do it like this. We can say 12, and that's 5, and I don't know. Or if you want, we can kind of look at it like this, as a part, part, whole. We can say there's a total of 12, and it's 5, and that missing number. So we've got a few different options here, but most of us probably know what this is. We can use our addition facts, and we know that it's going to be 5 plus 7. Because if you want, you can do 12 minus 5. That's going to get you 7. Or you can just count up. You can just say 5. And then you can just see how many numbers are there in between 5 and 12. 9, 10, 11, 12. And then you can just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let's look at another example. So now we have a subtraction problem. Blank minus 3 equals 9. So let's see if we can write a word problem for this. Let's put a name in here. So let's say Josh had some, and I'm going to use the word some because that's, we're going to start with our, our start is unknown here, had some cards. So that some just means that's the missing number we're looking for. Then we can say he lost. I'm choosing the word lost because our operation here is Subtraction, so we need to take away. He lost three of them. And then we can say now he has, let's see what our result is. He has nine cards. And so to finish this off, we need to figure out, well, what is our start? How many cards? And we'll say, did he start with? So now we're asking for our start. Did he start with? Well, let's see if we can show that with start and change result. And our start in this case is going to be our unknown because we're doing a subtraction problem. So start. We took away three and now we've got nine. So take a look at that. It looks like we can just use that or we can even use part, part, whole. We can figure out, it looks like we can just add 3 plus 9. And that's going to get us our number. It looks like it's going to be 12. So 12 is going to be our answer. Let's just double check. I'm just going to draw 12 sticks. That's 5. That's 10. And that's 12. And I'm just going to cross off three of them. I'm just going to scribble them out. And that should leave us with 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yep. That's correct. So the answer is 12. 